Channels like Rogan Short and these other ones are getting millions of views and I'm sure they're getting a good amount of money from it. So I wanted to run my own little experiment. I posted 100 shorts in seven days and I will share the results in this video. While doing this experiment, there were three questions that I wanted to answer in this video. First off, is YouTube the best platform to post shorts on? Or should you also consider platforms like TikTok, especially now that there is a creator fund on TikTok? Second, how much time and effort should you put into a short channel? I don't have a lot of time so I wanted to find out if I could run a channel on the site or if I should dedicate more time to it. And lastly, how much time will it take before a channel blows up? Can it be done quickly or does it take a lot of time? On my first day I did some research because I wanted to find out what the best way was to reach my goal quickly. And for this there are two options when it comes to creating content. The first one is repurposing content. And this is basically like using someone else's content and repurposing it in the form of shorts or you also apply some some kind of editing to it. The second one is creating original content. And let me tell you this, when I looked at my calendar, I basically decided that I had to go with repurposed content. But there is a catch to this, and what it is, I will tell you later. Now I needed a channel where I can start posting my short on. So I went to YouTube, I created my channel, and I had to find a logo for it. So I went to ChatGPT, and this is how it works. I typed in create a logo for my channel called Clip Cascade. Now this is the logo that it came up with, and it looks perfect to me, and and if I were you, I wouldn't put too much effort into this because it's not about the logo. After giving it one more prompt, this is the banner that we had and now I was ready to start creating our short. My strategy was as followed. First, I had to find a way where I could create a shit ton of shorts from just one long form video. And for this, I'm using Opus Clip. And this is the perfect tool for this video because it works as followed. You can simply paste in your YouTube video that you want to use. Then it will find the video for you. You can choose your own preferred style. I've create my own branded style for this then you can select the time frame and the preferred clip length and for this video i'll be using clips that are less than 30 seconds long and clips that are 30 to 60 seconds long why because i think those clips have the most potential of going viral now our clips are generated with just one click all i had to do is look at the most trending current podcast or youtube videos and for this i choose a few different niches i choose history fitness business and entertainment why? Because I'm interested in all of those niches and I know a little bit about it. The first clips that I generated were from a Joe Rogan podcast and they look as followed. Some people don't have the constitution for it in them up. Yeah, so many of the articles you read now are about how they're... So Opus Clip is really great for this as it gives you a score of virality, like the chances of how viral they think it is. Personally, I wouldn't say this score is the best, but it gives you a good indication if it is a good clip and it will tell you why it is a good clip. So from one podcast, I created like 32 clips that are pretty much usable, but I would say primarily use the first 10. And this is also what I did. I used a few different podcasts, then I took the clips from it and I uploaded them both on YouTube Shorts and on TikTok because I wanted to see what the best platform is. Now we come to the next section of my experiment. What is the better platform, TikTok or YouTube Shorts? So I took 10 of the best clips that I could find and I posted them daily on both platforms. I want you to comment right now on which platform you think gets the most views, TikTok or YouTube Shorts. My first video performed pretty good. At least I thought it did until I looked the analytics. So when I checked the analytics, it showed a high rise in the beginning, which was pretty good, but then it pretty much flatlined after that. So I didn't get any more views after this little bump right here. And that's pretty unfortunate. The next few videos didn't even get any views. This one only got 10 and then the other ones just got like zero views. So I was thinking maybe I have to switch it up a little bit. So I tried out some other content, which was like David Goggins content. And let me tell you this, David Goggins, he disappointed me because the next few videos weren't also pretty good. But let's take a look at how it did on TikTok. So the first few videos that I post on TikTok also got zero views. Then I got one that had 86 views and then the other ones pretty much did pretty bad as well. But don't let this fool you, it will get better in the end. So on YouTube, a few days later, I continued posting like 10 videos per day. And then this one Elon Musk video, it did pretty all right. You can see these little bumps in the beginning right there. And now it's about to be flatlining, but it just had like 100 views in the last 48 hours. Now I found out that the shorts that I was posting, like the history ones, weren't performing that well. The fitness ones did all right. They didn't do too well, but the entertainment ones, those are the ones that performed the best for me. 
So let me show you all of my analytics on YouTube Shorts. So this is what happened to the Shorts channel. On the first day, we pretty much had like 99 views, which isn't a lot at all on Shorts. On the second day, we had 15 on the Shorts because like that Rogan Shorts was going a bit, nah, I wouldn't say viral, but it went all right. And then moving on, we didn't have much views. Then I started posting more and more content and it almost continued to rise in the beginning. First week, it wasn't doing that great. But then eventually I had a few good ones that were going viral. For example, this Kai Snet one is going pretty decent. And you can see that it still hasn't gone dead yet. It is still getting views. And this made me wonder, should I put more effort into my shorts? As I was making this video, I got off a call with Opusclip and they announced a new update. Right now, you cannot just only edit your clips through Opusclip, but you can also export it through Adobe Premiere. How it works is as follows. If you export it to Premiere Pro, then it downloads a XML file, which you can use in your Premiere. With the new export to Adobe feature, you can pretty much edit your clip even further than Opusclip already has done. So what you will get is the raw files. They are already cut up into the pieces that you have selected. And then it also gives you the transcript of your video. Keep in mind, it doesn't copy the exact editing style. It just gives you the transcript so you can further like customize it your own and create your own editing style from this. And this is also what I wanted to test out because I wanted to see if I put more effort into my clips, will it perform better? So this is exactly what I did. I edited this entire video. I added some B-roll on there and I wanted to see does this work better than if I just were to use Opus Clip without editing the clip myself. So all of my last videos were doing pretty good. We got like 5,000 views, 6,000, 3,000, 2,600, and I was thinking it's going pretty well, but I still want to test out what if I was posting a more edited clip. So this is the one, and this is the video that I did. And what you can see what is different from all the other ones, it is that this graph is still going up. Like we don't have a flat line, we don't see it like rise and then it is completely dead it's still getting views like it got 1500 views in the last 48 hours and that's also something that i found out like some of these videos will take a while to get views and especially with shorts it is so strange on how it works if we compare it to tiktok for example it worked as followed. TikTok is a completely different platform and what they have been doing through their shorts algorithm, it is pretty strange. So none of my videos got any views besides this one. This one got like 6,000 views and the other ones are pretty much all dead. So if you're thinking whether you should post on YouTube shorts or TikTok, I would say post on YouTube shorts. When I recorded this video, I wanted to see how fast I could get 1 million views. And just within like 10 days now, I got like 90,000 views. So in terms of like the potential it has to go viral and the potential to get you a million views, I would say it can be done within like a month or maybe like two months if you highly focus on creating good content. And that's also where I would suggest exporting your clips to Adobe Premiere because here you can completely customize it and make it your own and that's also the mistake that I made because some of my content that I uploaded is repetitive and that will be an issue for when I try to monetize this channel. So in conclusion the best platform to post on will be YouTube Shorts. I wouldn't advise to do this on TikTok. And then later, how much effort should you put into your shorts? I would still suggest if you're repurposing content, put a lot of effort into it. Because as you can see with that edited clip, it performs way better than it did with the others. And then lastly, how fast can you blow up your channel? I would say give it a month or two, post 10 times a day, and you will definitely see results. Check out this video right here if you want to create motivational videos with this new method that I use.